Welcome back guys to Jack's Drinkwater Southern Cooking and Barbecue. In today's video, we're gonna be cooking you guys up candy kielbasa, and I mean I have a buttload of kielbasa. Now you guys can do this on your stick burner, you can do it on your gasser, you can do it on your charcoal grill, you can do it in the oven if that's what you wanna do. It's gonna be quick, it's gonna be easy, it's gonna be delicious, so let's get going. let's get these kielbasas cut up and I'm just going to kind of slice them on the diagonal about like about like that not too big and uh, so normally these kielbasas or this candy kielbasa is good for like game day um, as a side if you're cooking something else you could put them on the smoker I didn't mention that earlier but you could easily put them on the smoker too uh, and it's so simple I mean it literally doesn't it's passive time once you get this cut up and we get our candied concoction uh, put together it's all passive time after that all right, I'm going to finish cutting these up, and we'll be back with you. So it's time to mix up our candied concoction, and we're going to start off with... I'm going to start out with some of this Blues Hog barbecue sauce. We're going to use a total of 18 ounces. And this Blues Hog, this is about a 16-ounce uh, jar here. Mmm, smells good. Start out with that. Then we're just going to eyeball this because we want 18 ounces, so I'm going to go in with some of this. Uh, this is just something I got. It's a habanero. It's a habanero sauce here, barbecue. Just going to add about three ounces of that. We're just going to eyeball that. That looks good. Next up, next up we're going to add about a half a cup of brown sugar. Next up going in is a quarter of a cup of Dijon mustard. All right, next up we're going in with a quarter cup of prepared horseradish sauce. I'm using this pub style. It's made by Boar's Head. This stuff's really good on sandwiches. So a quarter cup of that, add that to the party. Make sure you make a mess like I'm doing here. All right, now we're going to, we still got something to go in, but before I make a mess, too much more of a mess, we're just going to give this a little whisk here. Because <clears throat> the next thing we're going to be adding to the party is some beer. And use your favorite beer. Use whatever you have on hand. It's not that big of a deal. I probably would recommend using a cheap beer. But if you want to go expensive, use an IPA. Use an IPA is really de uh, delicious. Today, I'm going to be using a cheap beer. I won't even say the name of this stuff because I don't want to embarrass myself. But. It's not even really beer. It's just non-alcoholic beer. To be honest with you, I have these usually on hand to give to my enemies when I invite them over. <laughs> and you know, you invite your enemies over to keep them close. Alright, so that was one full beer and we're going to be adding a, just a little bit more beer to that roughly you're going to be using 18 ounces total of beer so about one whole one plus you know something uh, half of another one all right so let's now all we do is we just add all of that mixture to this party make sure you get all the goods there all righty we're just going to give this a little bit of a stir. <clears throat> Looks good. All right, let's put this on the Kudu grill. All right, here we go. Again, I'm using the uh, Kudu grill, you guys, and I'll tell you about it in a minute in case you don't know what I'm using here. But let's, let's go ahead and get this stuff on. All right, now we're just going to keep this fairly close to the fire for now just till we get a good roll on it and get our roll on. And uh, after that, we'll lift it up. I'm going to start off by saying this is not a sponsored video by Kudu Grill. 
I ju I've, own I've owned the Kudu Grill for, I don't know, two years now. Love this thing. It's basically open fire cooking. I'll leave a link up here. You can go check out a review that I did on the Kudu Grill. But basically what's nice about this grill is it has level cooking. So you just undo this little knob and you can move up up towards the or down towards the fire or up off the fire and keep things real uh, low and slow or you can do hot and fast it also has another contraption on the other side which has a palancha pan and you can actually cook uh, in the palancha pan and on the grill at the same time go check out that video uh, kudu grill for the win baby basically what we're trying to do with these kielbasas is just thicken up that sauce that's on it it's almost kind of like you're making burn ends but you want that sauce to be really thick and we want to basically candy that sucker or caramelize it so to speak all right guys we are i'm gonna call this it's uh we probably reduced it i'm guessing somewhere around three quarters of the way so let's uh, it's freaking gonna be hot let me uh let's give it a try here give me a moment because i gotta blow this all right, I still may burn my mouth here, but mm. Mm. tastes like kielbasa candy, <laughs> actually. All right, so sometimes what I like to do is they have like a split split top bun. You can uh, take it and. Fill your bun and kind of eat it like a hot dog. Stick some uh, toothpicks in it. Just serve it just like I ate it just then. But I can tell you right now, I've done it, used this like two or three other ways. I've uh, put it in uh, beans, like red beans. <clears throat> it's delicious in that. Um, I've also made like navy beans like or white beans and used it in that. But I was just thinking today that this would be stupendous in a uh, Brunswick stew. I actually did a Brunswick stew in a can cooker one time. Go check that video out. I'll leave it there. Um, but that would be delicious too. Baked beans, it would be good. And I mean, the possibilities are end endless. All right, let's see if I can burn my pie hole here. Mm. A sweet sausage dog. All right, guys candied kielbasa on your kudu grill or any other grill you got do it mm. wow look at that grass that glass oh that is not good for the heart man wow is it good for the belly i mean you need to go get on a treadmill after you, <laughs> you do this. 